Hello, in this session, we will create a simple fake depth effect using materials. First, create a material. Create a texture sample node and set it to the desired texture, such as a logo texture. Next, to set the color for the texture, create a multiply node and a constant 3 vector node. Set the desired color and multiply the nodes together. To add depth to the texture, create a bump offset node. Connect the texture's UV and depth by creating a text chord node and a parameter node and connecting them as shown in the video. Once you have connected all the nodes to the bump offset node, Connect the node to the UV pin of the texture sample node to add depth to the texture. Preview the texture sample node, and you will see that the texture is tiled. To remove tiling and center the texture, set the sampler source in the texture sample node to clamp. Create a multiply node and a parameter node to adjust the brightness of the texture. Connect the nodes together, and then connect the multiply node to the emissive color pin to set the brightness of the texture. Create an interior cube map node to define the interior of the box shape. Create a text chord node and a constant node to set the values as shown in the video, and connect them to the interior cube map node. To extract each channel of the interior cube map node, create component mask nodes and set each channel. To mask the sides of the hole, extract the green and blue channels. and connect them to absolute nodes. Then, connect the two nodes to one minus nodes to cover both sides of the masking area. Add the two areas together using an add node. Adjust the contrast of the masking using a power node. Set the color of the side using a multiply node and a constant 3 vector node, similar to what was done with the emissive color. To distinguish between the inside of the hole and the sides, create a lerp node and connect a component mask node with the red channel to the alpha pin. Set the side in the lerp node as shown in the video and adjust the values in the lerp node to make the inside darker. Finally, connect the LERP node to the base color, and the material is complete. Go back to the level, drag and drop a plane mesh into the level using the place actor, and apply the material you created to see the effect. 